Hey guys, welcome to another video. Today we're going for the Siege and of course we are going to cleave in our first match as we always do and we are going for a speed fight because we trust our plus one, plus 223 Bernard will be faster than the enemy Bernard and therefore I will buff attack with Galleon and destroy the full enemy team with our Lucian and well, if it happens like that, that will be great. If it doesn't, we don't care. Okay, we won this, guys. Let's go for the next one. And we're going to cleave again, because we see one Aldin at 5 that is not farmable. And we want to cleave it. You know, you know the feeling, guys. You want to get rid of Aldin at 5s quickly, easily. And, well, if you can Lucian them, even better. So that's why I built 4 Lucians, actually. And, well, we're going to boost with our Bastet, then boost again with Charlotte, and finish them off with Lucian. At least, that is what I expect. And so far, so good. Yeah, we won, guys. We won. Really nice. And here we're going for another cliff. We are going to get rid of that LD at 5 right there first we're going to target that and after it we don't care we will finish them off with our bail so worst case scenario every sword goes to the dragon knight and well dna will be forced to actually keep playing and try to kill th something with the third skill of bail and or second skill i can't remember who cares okay we went 2 and 1, so that means Bale can get rid of the remaining unit. Here we go. Against this one, we are going to actually use Copper and Bulldozer. This will be a quick video, guys. And yeah, of course, this is going to be a quick video as always in Siege. That's what I like. And we are going to fall for a Copper Trap Elad, or maybe it's not a Copper Trap and we can win this. We are going to target Elad first, then we are going to get rid of Chan because I have been soloed by a Jan against my Copper Bulldozer team. That's the actual truth and it happened to me twice. So I will get Jan, I have never been soloed by a Kaki, so I will, be, I will give Kaki the chance to solo me and then I will be afraid of another unit. Or maybe not. Yeah, he procs, okay. Actually, guys, I should be more afraid of violent runes. That's the actual threat. So here we are, and we can copper dozer again. This is so repetitive, guys, but <laughs> this is quick at least. And if that's a copper trap oracle, water oracle there, if that is a copper trap, a praha with high defense, then we will lose. If it's not, then we will kill Praha, then we will bulldozer the Jan, and we will beat three on one that that Ritesh. So yeah, the first one went well, and now we can kill the Jan. And we get rid of Ritesh. Can we stun? We can't. He defense broke me. That's not great. But yeah, we got rid of the defense break because we lapped him. That's great. And we are done, guys. We are done. We won this. Moving on. Okay, for this one, we're going to boost with our frigate. And then what we want to do here is to actually kill the khaki and and the light ball <laughs> and well once we get rid of gemini and khaki we will work three on one against the triana so here we are we boosted can we defense break we can amazing we know that the gemini will never have will runes and we did not kill khaki we are in trouble we are in trouble guys Okay, the stun, amazing. Now we can defense break Kaki or not. Okay, okay. We can defense break and kill. No defense break. Can we kill? 
We glance, can we defense break? Perfect, and now we kill. Perfect, guys, moving on. And for this one, for this one, we are going to use Olivia Raccoonian Bulldozer because we love Olivia Raccoonian Bulldozer. Those are great units, that's a very lovely team. And you know, we will get rid of the Feng Yang first. And since here is not a big damage threat, because there's no defense break here, and we know that the we know that the Chimera will actually go for for our wind unit, and the and the blue un unit will never go for the wind unit. So at least not when she's on high HP, and we have defense buff and we have passive heals from Raccoonie, we should be fine un until we can replenish the third skill of our bulldozer and then kill the Chimera. And after that, guys, after we get rid of Rakan, we will be able to kill Kami 3 on 1. And it will take long, guys, so I will speed this up. Okay, we're done, guys. And for this one, we're going to use the... Actually, I think it's the best Gilwar offense team that you can build, which is Bulberg, Emilia, and Skogo. With this team, we can tank attacks, we have massive damage, and we can ignore the defense of the enemy with Bulberg. So, yeah, this thing will be really easy to kill. Once we get rid of one unit, then the next Rock from Scoble will get rid of something else because we will be able to reduce by 50% the HP of any unit that we want because of the stacks on our Bulwark. So yeah, you know how this works guys, we will win this. And for the next one, we are going to use one of the first counters for this Kamun Bastet Odin team. You know, this, this counter was one of the first ones that I built and it has always worked really well. It only loses when the Odin actually takes too many turns and has some accuracy in order to steal the, the, the buff of Theomars like he did right now. Okay, that doesn't look great. Now, can we defense break the Odin? And we can't. And guys, I have been thinking about this and maybe I should stop using the skill leader of, of Fran. You know, the leader skill of Fran, sorry. I should use the leader skill of Theo instead so that I can have more crit rate on my Triana and therefore deal more damage. I think I should do that, guys. And he stole my invincibility, sorry, my immunity as well. But luckily, now Theo Prox actually gets back the passive faster. So that's a very good thing. And now Triana saved me, and there is no violent runes because Triana interrupted the violent process. So, yeah, that's. This the fail safe of this team, and now that we got rid of Odin, we can get rid of the other two without any problems at all. Unless they have a ton of violent runes and they take a million turns and kill something, which I don't think they will. And for the last fight of the video, guys, I'm going to use this team for the first time. But since the enemy team is only tanky and I actually ran out of Copper Bulldozer comps, however, I don't think I could Copper Dozer this. Maybe if I went for a Copper on the Ariel and then Dozer the Kamun. Well, guys, 
doesn't matter. We're going to use this team. We're going to defense break them one by one with our very lovely khaki. And then we will start killing them one by one really slowly with our pony here. And we expect some decent procs. And of course, we have the leader skill of HP from our paladin here. So this team synergizes perfectly well. We have defense breaks, we have immunity, we have shields, we have very strong damage dealers, and we have, you know, turn cycling. So yeah, this is a very nice offense team against teams like that one who actually don't have a particular threat and they are more tank oriented, you know? So they don't rely on stripping and sniping something. They actually rely on violent proking, defense breaking you and killing something. And you know, they are mostly built to waste your time. So guys, that will be the last fight of this siege. And since we defense broken the, the aerial, now the aerial will go down for sure. Guys, thank you again for watching this. And I really hope to see you in the next one. If you enjoyed this, please leave a thumbs up, leave a comment, subscribe. And remember, if you have any questions about the game, let me know in the comment section and I will be very happy to reply as always. See you all in the next one. Bye bye.